This is the video for the main program of the Matrix Math game. I've highlighted the first section of it in green. First it says, branch if equal, the task is zero to AA. A. That means it'll initialize a game when the task has never been set to one. Then it says put the absolute value of game number into game number. Branch if equal, the game number equal to the was game number to AC. Well, they're only equal if the game has already been started. Well, next it says AA, that's where we initialize the game. Set the was game number to the game number. Set the task to one. Use the stat action to set a sequence of notes for the blue note box. Then call routine 100 to initialize the game. That would be subprogram one tab zero. Then it exits. Well, the next time it cycles around, at this line where the branch of equal game number to was game number, it will be equal, and then it will go down here to AC. It sets the note for the blue note box to note number one. Next two instructions have to do with the YouTube videos. But after that, there's all these calls, all to subprogram one, tab one, two, three, four four and five. Also refer to those as routines 101, 102, 103, 104, and 105. Once it's done all those, it then sets the font to bold 22 points, color to dark, four, four, <laughs> dark red 400, the XY position to 1125, puts the text on the screen, game number, then it adds a little bit to X and then says box the game number on the screen. Let's go and execute the program. This is what it did in dark red, says game number, and here's where it boxed the value. Now I've highlighted the rest of the program in green. First, XY position to 205, tall Y to 18240, color 48, which is a blue color, do a rectangle fill. Then box this rectangle and make it clickable as click number two. Then add some to X and Y, change the font to bold 13 points, the color to 990, which is yellow, put the text on the screen, toggle the answer on off. Then it checks to see if it was clicked on. See, up here as we said, clickable is two. Here it does a click action that checks to see if it was two was clicked. If it wasn't clicked, it goes to AE down here. If it was clicked, it adds one to show answer, then mods it with two. Which means show answer can only be a zero or a one. Don't do it or do it. Then, down here at AE, it says branch if not equal, the test values to R matrix one, that's the result matrix. These are the values in the matrix. It's going to check one, four, and seven against the test values that were entered at offset zero, one, and two. Then it does a tick puts the value in T, mods it with 14, so it's gonna go from zero to 13 over and over again. Then it says if it's less than or equal to seven, go to AG, that's down here. But if it's the other way, it's gonna put X and Y to 524, 116, color to a dark red, font, bold 20 points, and put the text on the screen, they match. Well, let's take a look and see. Well, here we have the main screen. Right here is that blue box. And if I click on the blue box, it says show the answer. You'll see the answer values are shown down here. Well, this is the end of the video for the main program of Matrix Math.